This is Ahmed Tariq. I'm a student studying computer science at the GUC. Now, uh, this video is for the Digital System Design Project. A few days ago, we were approached in the GUC to design a project for the Digital System subject. Now, what's that project? The project is to be made on an Altera board and the idea is to be ours, completely ours, from scratch. So, we thought to ourselves, what should we do? And more importantly, how should we do it? The first thought that struck our heads was that all of us as children have played Simon Says at least once and we've all utilized it to enhance our memory skills and increase our IQ level. Now, what's Simon Says exactly? Have you ever thought of a game and a fun way to both entertain your time and at the same time enhance your memory skills? Now, that's Simon Says. Simon Says is a basic interactive game. All you have to do is that you're approached with a sequence, a single sequence, and you have to memorize the exact sequence and repeat it. And if you've repeated that sequence correctly, you're granted a chance to move up to the next level. Now, each and every level, the sequence gets longer and equivocally gets harder, and you have to keep up with the pace. So as you move up the ladder, the sequence gets longer and it gets harder and you have to memorize it. So now let's see how did we implement it. Hello, my name is Mustafa Abdallah. I am a computer science student at the German University in Cairo. Now I'm going to introduce the inputs of our project. Our project has only one type of input, for instance, of only one type of input, which is, which is a laser proximity sensor. The objective of this sensor is to detect the, ob the object or object detection which lies along its ray. So, this sensor has a built-in emitter and built-in receiver. Whenever an object intersects is the infrared emitted from the emitter, it's reflected back and received by the receiver. Thus, it's detected or it senses that the presence of object on its way. Uh, so, what is the inner components of this sensor or how is it or how it is used in our project? The, this sensor has three pins. One of them is the VCC, another one is the ground, and the third one is the input to our Altera board. This VCC is connected to the voltage source coming from our Altera, and the ground is connected to the ground pin coming from the, the pin of the Altera, and the control signal is connected as an input pin to our Altera. Thus, whenever an object is detected by this sensor, it's settled inside the coil. That there is some object here in front of this sensor, or this, or this, or this, uh, lying somewhere along the ray of this sensor. So let's try to start the sensor. Now, this, sens this sensor has an additional flash, red flashlight, which indica indicates the presence of an object on its way. So here it's not recognizing anything. The flashlight on the right is not indicating the presence of an object. So if I put my hand here, this flashlight indicates that, that there is an object on, along its way. So now it's not detecting an object, now it's detecting an object. So whenever an object lies, or my hand or whatever lies on its, on its way, it send, sends this signal through the last pin to our Altera board or our very good code as an input that there is something which lies on the way of the, of the sensor. Hello, my name is Ahmed Suleiman, 31-MET student. I will show you the outputs of our DSD project. We have seven LEDs, four LEDs for displaying uh, the sequence while playing, three LEDs, one for indicating wrong sequence, one for indicating correct sequence, and one for indicating that it's a player's turn. Each LED is connected to the breadboard with a transistor. This transistor receives its control input from the Altera board uh, to decide whether to light on uh, the LED or not. Hello, my name is Omar, and I will show you how to play the game. First, you have to turn on the board, and you will, now you will see four LEDs lighting in a random sequence, initially in level one. And this LED shows me to play, that, that's my turn. So I will begin with one, and I pass level one. Now I'm in level 3, so number 1, then 4, and I succeed in level 3, now in level 2, now I'm in level 3, so 1, 
and four and two. So that's one turn in level four. One, two, and three, and four. Wrong. That's false. Wrong. I failed in level four. Now I lost. My name is Ahmad Sari, 31-MIT student. We will explain the software behind our project. In our software code, we have four modules. Uh, first module is clock, clock generator that takes the clock of the other data and uh, as an input and produce an, uh, or generate a new clock of one hertz, uh, one hertz uh, frequency. Uh, the second module is, uh, is a sequence generator that takes the number of the sequence and generates uh, which uh, generate an output for which LED will be displayed. The third uh, module is digital timer that takes a number from 0 to 9 and displays the output for 7 segments corresponding to that number. Uh, the fourth module uh, is the main, the main module of our uh, software port. Uh, uh, it's Simon Says. No, it's our top level module and uh, it contains everything else. It has as an output four outputs for the sensors and four outputs for LEDs that are used to display the sequence and three extra outputs for these uh, LEDs. Also, we have three outputs for the seventh segment. We have three always blocks. Uh, so the first two uh, always blocks are corresponding to the uh, gain turn or the PC turn. Uh, the, first, uh, the first always block uh, is sensitive for uh, the, uh, the, clock, uh, the clock edge. Uh, in each clock, it uh, displays one of the LEDs uh, of from of the of the sequence using the module of generator of the sequence generator. Uh, the second the always block uh, that uh, is corresponding to the LED code that uh, uh, that have been out from the the sequence generator and it, uh, it displayed to the LED. Uh, to the, LED out. the third always block is uh, sensitive for the sensors. When it's the player's turn, the sensor, uh, this always block will uh, uh, will check which sensor was cut by uh, the player, which uh, sensor the player has cut its laser beam, and it will uh, see if it matches the sequence that was generated by uh, the computer. If it matches the sequence, the player will be promoted for the next level if he has finished this sequence. If not, if it didn't match the sequence, the red uh, LED will glow and the sequence will be repeated for the player to try it again. Okay, thank you.